Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the 29 to 31 area has held as resistance. And uh, at this point, heading into the open, we know that overall the sell side has been dominant. And if ES continues to hold below 29 to 31, then sellers can maintain that edge. But our bias heading into the open has to be fairly neutral because the market can really tip in either direction and how it responds to 29 to 31 is really going to help us establish our bias right off the open as long as we're holding below it and we're not really seeing any uh, significant upside momentum the sell side can maintain control and from there we can go down into 19 quarter to 21 quarter which is pre-market support so it's not really a strong area of support and if we take that out the next area would be 12 quarter to 14 quarter and Monday's RTH low at 10 half. So as long as ES continues to hold below 29 to 31, the doors open for a test of yesterday's low at 12 quarter to 14 quarter and Monday's low at 10 half. And then if there is continued broad market weakness and sustained downside momentum, then we could even go down and test the 2100 quarter to 2102 quarter area where responsive buyers can defend on first test. In the event of a breakout above 29 to 31, which is happening on broad market momentum with a tick holding above zero and printing some decent values, that would signal buyers gaining control on the smaller time frames, and that would bring the 38.75 to 40.75 area into play, which marks yesterday's RTH high, and then we have that 40 half high volume node, and uh, if we can crack through that, then we can go up and test 46.75 to 47.75 and the larger time frame resistance continues to be at 50 half to 52 half and 56 to 58. So those are still areas where responsive sellers can be active on first test. So that's really how the market is set up at this point in time. Keep an eye on 29 to 31. That's really going to help establish the short term directional bias if we continue to hold below it then the door would be open to test yesterday's low. So we could get a pretty decent move lower and possibly even into 2100 quarter to 02 quarter. And then in the event that we really start pushing even lower than that, uh, 95 to 97 and 90 to 92 are still decent areas of support, especially the 90 to 92. And uh, responsive buyers can still defend those areas on first test. So let's see if the sell side can maintain the dominance and control we've seen from yesterday and if they can continue to hold it below 29 to 31 that'll help set the bias and the tone for the day and we'll take it from there